Looking to shake the rust off, the Vikings step on the field in over 11 days as their state tourney journey begins. Close to four minutes into the action, the Vikings strike first as Luke Shimko blasts a shot on net past Crusaders goalie Jack Kennedy. The senior gives the home squad a 1-0 lead. Three minutes later, Michael Restino on a run sends a pass to Quinn Driscoll. The freshman issues the quick shot on net and scores the goal. Central Catholic leading 2-0. Back-to-back scores by Lansdale Catholic. Judah Wood fires a pass to Gavin Selchert just outside the crease. The junior turns quickly and scores past Chris Burke. Crusaders lead 3-2. The Green and Gold take a 5-3 lead moving into the halftime break. The game now at 6-4. Tate Shootmaker on a breakaway. The sophomore holds up just a few feet in front of the crease. Shoots and scores past Kennedy in net. Vikings within a goal 6-5. Midfielder Luke Walters in some space for the Vikings. Finds his fellow sophomore in Jack Restino. Restino lets go a missile on Kennedy. He scores and the game is tied at 6. Heading into the final quarter, the game held firm at the 6-6 tie. Fighting for the ground ball, Sean McMahon comes up from the scrum. He goes top shelf on the shot. Ball flies by Burke. Lansdale Catholic ahead 7-6. Moments later, Restino up the sideline, passes to James McCarthy. The junior locates Shimko right by the net. The senior comes through on the game-tying shot for the Vikings. Under three minutes remaining in regulation, Shoemaker gives the ball to Restino. The sophomore sees an opening towards the net. He fires on goal and scores to allow Central Catholic to take the lead 8-7. Time would run out on the Crusaders as Central wins 8-7 to to advance to the second round of the playoffs. Yeah, you know, it's a great feeling, and it was. I'm really proud of the way we fought back. You know, we haven't played a game in 11 days, so of course we came out a little bit sloppy. First half was rough. They beat us in the ground balls, but second half, we beat them by almost 10 ground balls, and I can't be more proud of the guy, the way the guys fought. I mean, this is this is the season. I mean, we can't, we, we don't want to lose yet, so we want to keep going and on to the next game. No, yeah, it was a definitely a chippy game. I mean, we, I don't think honestly as a team we were ready for it when we were coming out, but going through the game, we definitely turned it up a bit and we got a lot more physical with them and I think that's really what helped us uh, pull out the win. A physical battle here with Lansdale Catholic but certainly a group able to persevere as they now look forward to their matchup on Saturday and though the rust was able to wear off quarter after quarter this group feels now they're locked in as they look to take the field against their upcoming opponent. Yeah of course I mean honestly the celebration will be about tonight maybe a little bit to the morning but that's about it we got to get back after it and get ready for our next round of states on Saturday. I think definitely uh, starting right from the gate you know I think we just got to come out ready to play every single game. Uh, this Saturday, we have a definitely a tough team in Marple Newtown, I believe we play. So that's definitely going to be a challenge. we got to come out a lot better than we did tonight. And uh, yeah, I think we're just going to keep practicing, keep working, keep getting better. From Cedar Crest College, I'm Mike Ventola with the Service Electric Network.